Hello Capricorns. Hope everybody is doing well today. We're going to see who this is and what they want with you guys, okay? If you guys are interested in a personal reading, um, please check out the website below at pinkarianjim.com. And um, yeah, let's get it cracking. Capricorn. Who is this person? Who is this person? Capricorn. Who is this person? Four of Wands, Aries energy here. Somebody that is, is comfortable in their own skin. This person, they may be a married person, does not have to be somebody that's in a relationship. Um, but the Four of Wands is all about stability, all about being content and happy um, in a situation. So th this person is, I feel like... Um, they may not necessarily have all the money in the world, but there there's a comfort of, of just being in a situation that they're in right now. This Four of Wands energy, Aries, again. And then we have a tower. I almost feel like there's some kind of um, uh, delusion here. Like, this person is making something seem better than what it is. This is Scorpio energy. Maybe this person is living in la-la land <laughs> and, and not really looking at things for the way that they really are. Huh. And then we have the Eight of Cups here. You know, this looks like, too, for some of you, that this person is not as happy as you guys feel like they are. And this person is really um, thinking about leaving a situation um, or they have gone, they have left the situation and they're coming back. It's like a back and forth type of energy here. You guys once were happy at an instant breakup. This person's coming back. Piscean energy. But I feel like things are still kind of like on the fence and really have not been worked out between the two of you guys. <clears throat> things have not been fixed. This is a very toxic situation for you. Toxic energy is here. Codependency is here. I feel like this is something that you go through with this person time and time again. Um, one minute you're happy, the next minute, you know, everything's in a shit storm. Somebody walks away or they like leave the home, then they come back and then you guys start it all over again. It's like that type of energy that is here. Show me more about this Four of Wands energy. Then we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Mm. I feel like this is a situation that you guys, both of you, do not want to completely let go. And I think this is why you keep coming back to it, going back to it time and time again, because you really want to work things out um, I feel like this person is trying or wants to try to bridge the gap between you and them. They're really trying to get into this space where they don't repeat this toxic cycle time and time again. Okay, Revert back to old ways. I feel like this person definitely has the right um, uh, idea in mind that they just want to be happy. They want to be comfortable in a situation. But there's something that uh, needs to be worked out here. There's something that's not working for you guys that I feel like has not been addressed. <clears throat> Show me more about this tower energy. Then we have the nine of wands here. Again, Sagittarius energy. There's a very in and out energy here. Um, 
again wanting to work things out but something is not stable something is not working and that type of behavior needs to be worked out in order for this to continue and not have these intervals where you guys break up and get back together like it's very you know it, it's unsteady very unsteady and they don't really have the faith that things are going to change I feel like somebody's getting really tired, really exhausted, um, depleted. <clears throat> this person, if you guys are not already, like, if you guys are not already separated, this person is thinking about separating. But at the same time, this person, every time you guys like break up and get back together, it's like they fall. Um, it does something for them. It's, it's really toxic, to be honest with you. Like the, the breaking up and making up part of it is almost like they fall for you over again. It does something for them, this this very um, in and out energy, you know, getting pissed off. And then when you get back together, it's like, oh, shit, I love Capricorn. That type of energy is here. I feel like this person definitely loves you. Um, and then we have the world here. The situation that you guys are in. Um, this is a very tough, 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 tough situation for you with this world energy because here again, the devil is Capricorn. This is you. But I feel like this situation is in and out. Of course, that's not good. That's really not good. Um, I feel like you guys are wanting to, you're in a cycle with this person. And I feel like you're not going to be able to really and truly get out of it until one way or the other, whether you remain with this person and you're happy or you just move on from this person. You're not going to be able to get off this roller coaster until you take heed to the messages or the lessons that you need to um, take from this situation. Um, and, and I believe this is like to really establish your boundaries, know what you will and what you won't take, you know, and I think you're, you're wanting so badly to like start over to like get off this roller coaster ride. Um, but this is a very, very hard, uh, karmic situation for you. Once you get it, you will not lose it. Okay. I feel like this is something you guys have been struggling with for a long time. Knowing when to walk away. Knowing when enough is enough. Knowing when to let things be. Because you can't change someone else. That is the thing. And I feel like that is part of your your you, you know your your lesson to learn here in this life is learning when enough is enough and when something's not good for you. So <clears throat> Let's see what this person really wants with you. I feel like this person wants to stay with you. They do not want to leave. They do not want to leave. They just want stability. And I feel like you do too. I don't know if, if you and this person are like opposites. And opposites attract. I think that's where their attraction is coming from. <clears throat> What do they really want with Capricorn? Okay. They want to be happy with you. They want to be with you. And I can see that. This person definitely wants to be with you. That Leo energy there. They also want you to realize something. It's almost like when you when you tr you're trying to show somebody the way and and expecting them to like take heed to what you're trying to show them 
this is what this person I feel like is doing, trying to do with you guys. It's like they're constantly trying to show you how they want you to be. <clears throat> Six of Swords energy here, Aquarius energy. I feel like this person definitely leaves and comes back. Because at the end of the day, I feel like they want to be with you. Regardless of the tough times you guys have gone through, they want to be with you. This probably this person is probably um, the type of individual that like very intellectual, always want to talk things through with you, but also kind of finger points and tells you what is wrong with you and what you need to fix. I'm not so sure they take responsibility for themselves and, and their own actions because it takes two to tango, of course. Okay. Six of Cups. This person definitely feels like you guys are their soulmate. They want to talk things out with you, work things out with you. They want you to always feel for them the way that they feel for you. They want you to feel like you guys belong together and that you can always work things out. It's like this never-ending cycle with between the two of you guys here. Like a never-ending cycle. Then we have the Hierophant. Very committed relationship. You guys are committed to each other. Whether you're with them or not, it's almost like you're always drawn back to each other. Because there's something in both of you that feels like you guys... Um, are supposed to be together even though you know this situation is not really a healthy situation but you still feel like both of you feel like you guys belong together okay Taurus energy all right guys so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye